Hello out there. In our last video, we have shown that how an attacker abuse Brave browser to dump the credential stored in it. But dumping the credential is one thing and getting the siphoned or exfiltrated to your network is totally a different thing. In every red teaming exercises, whenever an whenever a red team or, or an attacker basically make an initial foothold in the network of yours then they try to avoid their presence uh, from the security audit system that is implemented there and they always try to go for methods uh, for exfiltrating data in such a way that creates a minimum level of noise to the auditors or the, the blue teamers so in this particular uh, in this particular scenario they basically look for the means of data exfiltrations which are uh, slightly orthodox uh, not usual and uh, covert in uh, sense now covert channels are the secret channels uh, which are very uh, difficult to detect so in this particular uh, video i will be uh, basically you know highlighting one of the popular method of uh, using alternative protocol uh, for data exfiltrations however when it comes to uh, data exfiltration techniques there are number of techniques out there uh, which i'll be explaining in our uh, subsequent videos like you can exfiltrate through http you can exfiltrate through smtp you can exfiltrate through arp you can exfiltrate through DS dns tunnel tunneling okay at the same time you can exfiltrate through i uh, you know uh, like using the ipv6 tunnel and the most uh, the topic of the day is the icmp tunnel the, uh, that how icmp can be used to you know, uh, exfiltrate data from your uh, network to another network. I have sh uh, sh showing you a, you know, uh, Wireshark snapshot of a, you know, network. And you can see only ping is there. So how much ping is dangerous, uh, I'll be showing in the subsequent video through a demo. So I hope uh, so far we are clear over here. So let's uh, directly jump to the uh, network capture of uh, through Wireshark. The Wireshark is a popular tool basically so you can see that uh, there are a number of things are being captured by my network tool and uh, the, in a moment uh, I'll be running my uh, Python uh, script which will be generating some unusual traffic in the network and it will try to siphon a secret file that has been created in my system uh, to the command and control server hosted in my window system. Okay, so you can see the ICMP. I'm just uh, locating the ICMP uh, packets for you. And uh, ICMP is nothing but the ping. ICMP stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. It is a way to check whether a particular uh, device in the network uh, is online or not, uh, or live or not. But uh, uh, how much dangerous this ICMP could be uh, through it. So uh, that uh, is the objective of our entire uh, video. So you can see that uh, Wireshark is listing out all the ICMP packets and if you just uh, look closely you can find out something uh, very interesting uh, there for you. In a short while I'll also be demonstrating that what file I'm, I was trying to exfiltrate uh, through this uh, ICMP command and which I'll be showing in, short, in, a, in a short of time, a short span of time. Uh, if you just look closely in the ICMP packet, uh, then you can see there is a data section is there and you can just uh, just have a look in the data section then you can find something out there. Okay, I'll not be disclosing the thing right now. So let's uh, straight away uh, just uh, flow with the video and so that you can understand that uh, how ICMP can be abused uh, for exfiltration and uh, what we could, uh, what uh, you know, the, what are the things and what are the ways in which ICMP can be abused. So I'll be demonstrating uh, via two use cases over here. One use cases that I have created, another use cases I have taken a, a you know a Wireshark dump or packet capture file from a, a CTF uh, which I have participated in I think two three years back. Uh, no, so four years back. So uh, in that time also I found this uh, thing is very interesting. So I'll be solving the same thing. I have just you know find out that file in my. Uh, repository so i thought that why not make a video on that because it would be great uh, for a uh, beginner to understand that uh, what could be done uh, through icmp so uh, i'm just showing you the file the file is uh, is a message.txt and it uh, shows that i'm sending you a uh, you know a secret file and uh, it is in my desktop so i'm just uh, sending in the message.txt 
so it is just written that i'm sending you a, a secret file through cover channel please reply to me urgently now if you just uh, uh, just again we are browsing through the wireshark uh, you know capture of that uh, traffic which i have generated through my smp file python file which i'll be uploading in my github repo as usual uh, as i have done in my past and you can see that there is uh, there is something in the data section like some characters are there and these characters are matching to that uh, you know uh, our message box uh, the secret file okay now uh, basically you will be finding this kind of uh, stuff and the, the question is that that uh, this is the icmp file uh, through which i have generated that traffic uh, i have used a basic ping command to generate the same and uh, i have splitted the file with a maximum maximum packet table of 16 and uh, and then pass it through the network okay now the most important thing that how we can decode this kind of icmp traffic so i'll be just exporting this icmp file to my python uh, you know ide and i have just uh, you know uh, i'm using a very popular uh, module of uh, python that is scappy uh, you know and try to uh, you know decode this icmp file now each and every icmp file has you know various layers now this i these layers you know these layers uh, you have to understand now um, the moment i can i'm just showing you that uh, what is there in the icmp packets okay so this is the load file there are uh, i'm just uh, first in the first line you are seeing that the structure of the icmp file there are six icmp packets are there apart from there there are icmp v6 packets are there and uh, there are some other protocols are also there so uh, right now we are not focusing on the other protocols we are mostly focusing on the icmp right now now if you decode it further and uh, i just want to you know capture only the icmp echo request okay, because there is echo request and echo reply so echo request uh, uh, type if you just you know just um, uh, try to find out the type of the echo request then it will be eight so i'm filtering the packets on the basis of the icmp echo request okay the reply see this is the layer of icmp and uh, it is just a packet list so you can uh, easily you know parse each and every layer uh, very easily over there you can see there is an ip packets and there is an you know icmp packets there is a load a raw load packet is there so most of the time uh, a attacker try to pass the uh, data from an uh, network through the load packet but this is not the only way because you know uh, the load packet uh, right now you are seeing that load packet is in uh, you know unencrypted form in ascii format but it is not always you know sometime uh, it is uh, totally you know uh, attacker can use some methods of encryption also like xoring the data of ascii file before passing it through the load one so there there are certain ways uh, to you know encrypt the data as well but uh, uh, in this video, I'm just using the ASCII mode, and uh, um, so uh, so that you can understand that how uh, load uh, part can be you know modified to exfiltrate your data. So hope uh, this part I'm clear. Now I'm taking one more uh, challenge from that CTF, and it is little trickier than this. It is not simple. Now what is there uh, in that uh, packet? I'll be showing in some time. I'm just opening that file. Uh, from that ctf and you can see now uh, now the load section is uh, uh, is not demonstrating anything specific to us but if you can if you look closely then you can find that uh, you know there is uh, there are some characters uh, you know uh, of uh, icmp packet that is the ttl the time to leave that means the uh, time for an packet has is life okay before it uh, get died okay in the network uh, in uh, you know in a search of finding the device the other device on the network now i'll be just you know uh, trying to decode that file using my smp decoder i'll be putting this smp decoder as well in my github repo so that it can help you in various other ctf and uh, you can play with it as, uh, and uh, find out the results of your choice uh, according to the situation you face now you see that uh, if while I try to dump the load portion, it is just giving us some gibberish characters and nothing specific. But if you just uh, look at the TTL value of that packet, then TTL values are varying. Okay, so we are just trying to uh, dump the TTL of the packets and let's see that whether the TTL is generating some kind of uh, no, um, pattern for us or not. 
and if it is generating some kind of pattern for us then we have to uh, dig uh, further there only to you know get our desired result so okay let's dump the ttl uh, you you must be you must be asked you must be thinking that how how come i know that the ttl is uh, you know is getting fudge why not the id part i have chosen why not uh, why not i'm choosing some other part so while playing with all this kind of file uh, you will understand there are a limited scope for an attacker to fudge you know uh, their data in some sort that uh, it can be passed through the network okay so one of the method is uh, like through id they can modify the id other method they can modify the ttls okay so while decoding the icmp packet uh, for icmp tunneling you should understand you should uh, give focus to this kind of uh, you know signatures okay so straightforward i'm just telling you now let's uh, try to uh, dump the ttl files and uh, let's see what it generates first and let's uh, you know let's run the file uh, okay so ttl is there and uh, it is uh, generating the ttl packets in form of uh, you know, okay in a column so let's try to you know uh, do it in a form of uh, in one row so that okay let's put a comma okay i'm just showing you it i, I think you must uh, the things must be buzzing in our in your mind as well that it uh, looks uh, like some you know ascii value of some characters uh, if it is so then you are exactly on the right path and if not then uh, you have to you know tune your mind to you know think like a hacker okay so let's see and uh, i'll be just putting the now it will be generating the output in a straight line and let's see uh, it should generate same okay so let's uh, rerun the script and uh, okay a little bit of so let's rerun it okay oh sorry sorry i just forgot that i'm just uh, trying to concrete some okay uh, let's try to make it as tr okay and rerun it okay so okay the there is no gap so let's put say space so that you can understand uh, so now it is okay now see you, uh, this more or less look like an ascii character uh, sorry ascii value of characters uh, now you can i am just showing you from uh, wireshark dump as well you can see i'm just highlighting each and every detail so it is definitely generating now pattern for you okay so now let's try to you know dump and let's try to you know uh, derive out the ascii value is stored in it okay so we'll be using the bytes and map it so that it dump out the and let's rerun it and this was the flag that was needed so hope uh, you have understood that how icmp can be dangerous and uh, why we should keep a monitoring through our ideas even uh, the you know even in the icmp packets as well the pings also okay so hope uh, this video has given you an insight of data exfiltration technique and uh, uh, we will be coming with this kind of interesting videos of data exp exfiltration techniques uh, that i have explained uh, like uh, so uh, till the time uh, stay tuned and uh, thank you for your uh, love so far that you have given to my channel and if you are finding it uh, helpful to you then please recommend to your friends and share it more and more so that um, I, we can also grow uh, with you and uh, at the same time if you're finding that uh, we should include some of your recommended uh, you know topics then please uh, uh, you know uh, pass it to us through the comment box uh, and we'll be happy to incorporate and we'll happy to uh, create some uh, you know demo which is understandable by everyone and thank you thank you for your time and have a great day